Hi guys, Dave Anderson here, Heli Cool Selly Pad. I am finally ready to start the uh, next project, which is going to be what I call the trailer kickstand. It is basically going to be the front tongue stand, and it's going to be hydraulically driven. I'm going to try to use all of the pieces and parts that I have from uh, either pieces that, that people have given me or what I got off of Patricia. And I just wanted to give a shout out to Broke Overland. He gave me these lift bars and that's what we're gonna use to create that, that tongue that's hydraulically driven. All right, you guys, stay tuned. We're gonna have some fun. Even though it's snowing and it just started like five minutes ago. <laughs> I can't catch a break. All right guys, so here's the plan. I'm gonna find a round pipe that this thing can swivel in. The pipe will be attached to the trailer tongue and just, I know this is horizontal, just think of it as this is the top and this way is the bottom. So down here I have two uh, kneeling hydraulic units and I have a three inch box steel that goes inside. Now the plan is, of course, is to um, have this inside of these two pieces. And when, um, basically, the, the two pieces are allowed to, to slide, or at least the bottom piece is allowed to slide on the top piece. I know it doesn't fit all the way, but I do have, well, I do have some steel here and there that I can uh, make up that gap. So that shouldn't be too much of an issue. That is the plan so far, and that should provide enough force to put the foot on the ground. I'm gonna have to, well, cut this off somewhere because this is way too long um, for a trailer stand. But uh, that is the plan so far. Let's see if I can make that work. This is not gonna work. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. And you're not really fine. You just can't get into it because they would never understand. It's too thin walled. It ain't gonna work. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get a different a different piece of steel because that is just not it is not gonna work. Great. So it's not even a three by four that would fit inside here, so it's gonna have to be something weird. But anyway, I just wanted to say that the bottom of the frame to the ground is 36 inches. So about 40 inches is what I need because the bottom of the frame is nine inches. So add four and a half to 36 inches, you get 40 and a half inches. So roughly about in the center where, where this thing is going to be, I need to come down 40 inches. Well. This thing is already 34 and a half inches long. So there's either gonna be a really small foot <laughs> or what I'm gonna plan on doing probably is cut this thing off about right up here somewhere. And that way I can utilize a little bit more of this so there's not just this little tiny piece at the end. And these two hydraulic units are right towards the end of where the foot goes. Uh, I think that that's going to work out, but I just don't have the steel today. You're going to have to come back and I'll be back in a flash. Ready, set, now. All right, I'm back. And I got a piece of steel. Ugh. It's about three times thicker. And I want to give a shout out to Richard from the uh, metal recycling place there in Chehalis and Lonnie from Chehalis Steel uh, who provided that for me for free 
to get the mission trailer tongue done and get the mission trailer up. So thank you very much, guys. I appreciate it. All right, I think I can take this piece of frame rail and uh, bolt this onto the back of this, mount these two hydraulic cylinders on there. So I think I got this thing figured out. So it's time to fabricate. <laughs> All right, so I just finished a bunch of welding and some grinding. I got the holes uh, cut so that I can put the hydraulic rams in there. Now, why didn't I film this? Because welding is about as interesting as watching grass grow. So I thought I would spare you from that and just catch you up this way. All right, so that part is ready. <laughs> ready, that's a long way away. So here, you see there's a, a welding seam right in here. And well, this three inch pipe is not tall enough anyway. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach to this three inch pipe some skaters, some little pieces of metal that will take up this gap, but will also clear the weld in the middle. And then I'll just grease this thing up quite a bit. It only has to move um, as far as this can throw. So what is that? Maybe, well, it's gotta be less than eight inches, uh, six to eight inches, something like that is what I'm figuring. Um, so it shouldn't move too much, but, but uh, I definitely have to put some skaters in there to to fill up that hole so that thing isn't uh, wobbly inside of this tube. All right, it ain't pretty, but the first skate is done. And it's gonna slide in there beautifully. I just have to measure how far it goes so I can put uh, on successive skates.
right there. And that's tight too. I wonder why I'm going through so dang much wire. All right, I think I got three good, very strong skates on there. That's what I'm calling them. Let's see if it fits. Right on. Okay, so that third, that third uh, cleat or or skid, whatever you want to call it, goes right up to the end. And then when this gets jacked down, about maximum, the other cleat is finally showing. So it, you can see it's it's very stiff. Shouldn't say stiff. It's just tight fitting. Uh, I don't even want to tell you just how heavy this thing is going to be because it is a monster. But it will, I think, do very well. I just had to put on the fabricate a foot, but I think that's going to be for part two. Yeah. I'm hoping to get this done in a maybe a two, maybe a three part series. But you know me, sometimes, well. Sometimes it goes to five or six parts, but no, seriously, I want to get this done, probably two parts, maybe three if I have to. You guys, until then, I'm Dave Anderson signing out. You guys be safe out there, and God bless. Well, hello, Jacob. What are you doing? Are you here to help? Are you here to help, PD? What are you doing? You want to come up here? You want to come up here? Yeah. Yeah. You want to come up? Yeah. All right, I'll pick you up. I'll pick you up. Jacob needed, needed to be pet. Yeah, the big old cat. The big old cat. Monster.